enjoying a nice hot day in Tampa, getting some sun, snacking on some berries, cooking some chicken. Wow. Applewood rub on it and some barbecue sauce. Woo. What's going on YouTube? If you came for the training footage, which is really good, stay tuned. This is just uh, another minute or so, maybe two. This is a mobility exercise I did because when I filmed this, the day after was a squat day. So I was just loosening up and I linked it in the description so you guys can do it too, but it really helped out and it felt great. Serious pain guys, but you gotta do what you gotta do to be able to squat. Get that longevity. This one I can't do, but I'm gonna do tomorrow in the gym as I'm warming up. So it's Thursday night, pre-squat workout day. I'm gonna wake up in the morning and train at a, a new gym, so it's gonna be some sweet footage. This is uh, the last meal of the night. Um, it's gonna be chicken and rice with a salad, and I may spill over a little bit on the carbs with cereal, but I've got about 900 calories left, so let me show you what I'm about to eat. It's gonna be two servings of this rice, which is gonna be 300 calories, two servings of croutons, 60, this whole bag, which is gonna be about 60, 75 calories, 100 calories of this Greek yogurt, Caesar Parmesan dressing, and six ounces of cooked chicken. That was really good, chicken and rice, salad. Really filling, because I had a whole bag of uh, salad. If you guys can't get your micros in, you gotta learn to eat them in a way that you enjoy them. IIFYM works best when you're eating clean foods, whole foods. That's just the way it goes. I mean, I prefer everything to be whole, you know, as unprocessed as possible. Having said that, I'm gonna eat some cereal now, just a few servings, but I wanna get carbs in before bed. This is a cup of fat-free milk. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. So I'm gonna add in a few servings of cereal. These are 120 per, so I'm gonna do four servings, four times, three, so 124 grams. Perfect, perfect enough. Anyways guys, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. I may put the macros in, but uh, it's Thursday night, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and train. I gotta go apply for a job I'm looking into, so hopefully it goes well. I'll see you at the training session, peace. This is our state. This is our This is a new gym. Absolutely sickening new gym. Four squat racks apiece.
So today is Friday the 13th. I know, right? I didn't find out or realize it until after the training session, which is good. I feel like I would have jinxed myself. But anyways, the training session today was great. We're on week seven, Friday, the cube method. Today's first um, exercise, which you just saw, was two sets of eight with 65% of my max. Those went well. Um, it took me a while to get loosened up, even with the mobility, but uh, those were fine. Then it was Olympic squats, five by five with a pause. I started with 185, that felt light. 205 felt good too. And after hitting 225 for a set, I was like, all right, just commit, work hard, and uh, finish with 225. Now, you're going to see me butt wink right here just a little bit. It mostly has to do with me not forcing my knees out and letting the hips kind of relax deep in the hole. Anyways, I sorted it out with 225, more or less. It's still something I'm working on. I don't know if it's my leg length or hip tightness, but I gotta open up and I gotta stay focused on that. So, as I get through 225, I think I got better and better. So let me know, guys, how it's looking. And I appreciate one of my subscribers giving me a tip uh, the other day because it really did help out today. So thanks. Alrighty, so I was beyond happy to be done with those squat sets. They were really tough, a lot of work. Um, I was spent afterwards, but this leg press was pretty easy. It was four sets of 20, I kept it fairly light. I only was really hitting failure by the last set, but uh, I burnt out really quick on that last set. These were really cool, I've never used this machine. It felt great, really felt good on the hips at the bottom, like it would carry over to the squat on them, helping me get a stretch and strengthen the muscles there, so this one was really sweet. Too many games, now all our trips are lost, oh, luck was not enough, I opened my eyes. My video's like, you have no legs, train legs. And I was like, someone said that. Yeah. I, mean, I don't have big legs, that's right. But you have no legs, train legs. Fuck out of here. All right, next, the program called for reverse hyper or light good mornings. I chose light good mornings because uh, there's no reverse hyper here, and I'm not a huge fan of that machine. It kind of hurts my stomach, and I don't even see it here in this gym. So I went straight to good mornings with a light weight, did 85 pounds, 95, then 105. I'm going to go ahead and put the next two sets picture in picture just to speed this up. And please let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think of the length of these videos. I personally like keeping everything in the footage because it's good reference for me it shows you guys exactly what I'm doing but if you guys just want to see you know on paper or I mean on text what I've done and maybe just a screenshot of the workout I'll go ahead and do that too just let me know what you think about the content and if I should clip some accessory workout thanks and what you're seeing now is dumbbell stiff leg deadlifts this is the first time in the entire program it's called for these and I've done these before but uh, haven't been to them in a while I kept the first two sets light and the next set was 45. I could probably be doing these with 60, 70, 80 pounds. My lower back was fried. 
and um, I just wanted to finish up strong with good form and uh, get a good stretch so I kept it light really pushed uh, with the inner thighs again strengthening the, mu strengthening the muscles I feel like I need uh, to squat better and to stop butt winking then it was athlete's choice four by six to eight I let my boy pick it and um, we actually decided to do some back. This is the best seated row and the best handle I've ever used. You sit on the ground. It's kind of like, uh, reminds me of the ones they used in Pumping Iron, the original one where Arnold and his boys would uh, all use this type of machine. And the handle rotated inside. Those uh, where I'm gripping neutral there, those rotate on bearings. So this felt awesome. I was able to stretch out my um, my delts without you know feeling like the shoulders coming out of the socket which happens with like the shitty seated rows like the hammer strings which I do not like to use at all unless I'm doing a wide grip movement on it. Hater reps. Hater reps. Hater rep one. And that's a workout so for finishing up on core it doesn't call for anything specifically I've done toes to bar and heavy planks the past couple workouts so I figured I'd give some crunches with a good stretch and these felt really good did about 30 35 reps nothing crazy and um, definitely felt like a little crampy and sore after then I hopped on this inversion table which I do not recommend post-workout I literally almost blacked out after five seconds so that was something but hope you guys enjoyed this workout it was awesome definitely motivating to know that you guys are watching it and uh, really pushed hard I'll let you guys see some more of this gym I'm on filming that's all cardio section Legs and deadlift section. Deadlift area, I'll show you guys Monday. All chest. See ya. Sickening workout. Old school style. You too, thanks. Powerhouse, Powerhouse Tampa. The mini Mecca. Peace.